was trying to make rice water. <laughs> so that, that was pretty much all going. And we went to update the answer. The reader wants to know if I did make rice water. Why the hell hasn't she seen a ticket to rice water? <laughs> she made that point. <laughs> Once my application video was submitted, I sent you into a state that can only be described as waste obsession. My files were given a well deserved Christmas break, and I became the second least productive member of the legal profession in the world behind Randy Clay and Beale. It was announced on the radio at exactly 5.30 on the 7th of October. The 36 people who were still in contention would be contacted and given an interview time. That day I left work early. Because if the call didn't come, I wanted to be able to peacefully pass away in my own bed. <laughs> uh, so I was lost in the spot. <laughs> Once I made my pass a solid hour of running the steel wall slowly over the surface of the gorilla, staring into the bed when I had my magic to reveal my future, praying that the dark phone would ring. And then at 5 30, with the gorilla looking as clean as it ever looked, it rang. When I look back now, I feel a bit sorry for Don. After all, he was just asking about running a room with that guitarist. Poor Lauren, who rang about, about a room 543, didn't fare much better. And I'm hanging out from her, I collapse on the couch, open the beer, and commence watching my application film one last time. And then, barely before power and after his first profanity, the phone was ringing again. This time it was Polly, beautiful Polly, who I've never met before or since, who offered me an interview and made the 36 chance to race around the world. My interview went well, and on February the 6th, I was one of 13 selected for the four week finals course at the Australian Film Television Radio School in Sydney. It was a harrowing four weeks, a bit like a summer clerkship on speed. <laughs> the 13 hours were pushed together 16 hours per day, and nobody wanted to be the one in the group who couldn't get along with the others. <laughs> so we were all becoming best friends. The best friends were the twist, in the sense that we also put the mind with a couple of the other 12 kilo and die. <laughs> there were some sickening moments in those four weeks. The worst was perhaps when I realised that I was the only one of the 13 who didn't have an own CD called The Rebirth of Cool Volume 5. <laughs> the very fact that there was a Volume 5 meant that Cool had probably been where you want for some time. Journal. I spent the first week feeling like I was standing on the edge of a very happy dance floor, quietly sipping a beer, waiting for the DJ to play something like Bonnie Tyler. Still, so, it turned out the selection panels. So Bonnie Tyler might be the new audience. So we're going to have a look at that now. I was always worried that if I quit being a solicitor, 
I feel like I've wasted seven years of my life. The truth is that this is a fabulous degree, and we, when people find out you have one, they think you can do all sorts of things. <laughs> so if you wake up one morning feeling miserable about your job, do what I did, which was whinge for about 18 months, <laughs> and spend six months talking very seriously about getting out and doing something, and then finally throw every ounce of energy into something that's about as likely as when you touch water. <laughs> the truth is that I was extremely lucky, but the point still holds. Don't sit around waiting for things to get better, because sometimes they just don't. <laughs> so we to continue the box of chocolates analogy, whilst life doesn't always have to serve up something off the top shelf at Hayes. It, it's, it's time to act if you've let things slip below the quality of, say, a family-sized block of snack. <laughs> As graduates who are soon to become graduates, you now have an obligation to ram very long, very boring stories down the throats of anyone under 18. <laughs> well, we ask for me, these were the best days of your life. <laughs> and remember, the story should not have the beginning of your or end, and it should not be any way relevant to your audience. <laughs> As a good case in point, I'm going to go out tonight with a tribute to a lecturer from my university days, who I'd like to say helped change my life but he can't because he just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> when we first encountered him in 1992, he always taught barefoot. But then in 1993, he fell in love with a psychiatrist and started wearing suits. He was also famous for making every law student in our year pay 50 bucks for a case book written by his good self, consisting of high court decisions handed down before 1980. He was a legend. He is a legend. The man's name is Mr. Fred Allen House. <laughs> and the very mention of that name makes me want to sing.
master's scholars 